Chapter 4. Don't mess with me. You won't. Donald sneered. As a staff of Fay Enterprises Holding Inc., I am your superior. I just want you to have a look at my calves to treat it, and you're saying that you won't. Do you know what your behavior will bring you to? You are not doing your work, right? For that, you will be fined 1,000 yuans, and you will be made a public example of the company meeting next week. Donald is visibly pleased with HIS own decision. Fate's facial expression turned darker and said, Who are you to punish me? Who am I? Donald sneered. I am the secretary of the president's office. I have the right to do so. Treating your work absent-mindedly, you have to pay 1,000 yuans as your punishment. Now, adding one more wrongdoing of yours, which is going against your superior and disobeying instructions. For this, you will be fined another 1,000 yuans. That will be 2,000 yuans in total, and you'll have to pay the money right now. The arrogance of Donald's voice was becoming more obvious. Fade looked at Donald with a serious face. I will not pay. You will not. Donald snorted and pointed to the entrance. Then get out of this company. You are fired. Looking at the situation, Xenia hurriedly got up and tried to pursue Donald. Secretary Ken, this is a misunderstanding. There must be some misunderstanding. We can talk it out, Fade. Did I ask you to talk? If there's any nonsense coming from you again, you'll be fired also. Donald shouted at Xenia. Hand over the money and get lost. Donald looked at Fade triumphantly. Fade narrow HIS eyes, took off HIS uniform, and threw it on the table. He said coldly, if you want me to leave, I'll leave. It's no big deal. Fade, don't be stubborn, Xenia hurriedly shouted. Fade looked at her, nodded slightly, then walked out. Donald squinted at the sight of both of them. There's a shine in Donald's eyes, as if he was thinking about something. When Fade walked through the door, an evil smile formed at the corner of Donald's lips. Stop. What else do you want? Fade turned around and looked at Donald coldly. Donald observed Fade and raised the corner of HIS lips. I'm afraid it is not that simple for you to leave like this. I have to check before and to prevent some garbage from stealing things from here. What did you say? Fate stared at Donald coldly. Donald sneered. I said, you stole things from the company. While speaking, Donald waved HIS hand and signaled for the group of security to surround Fate. Donald then ordered, this man is suspected of stealing from the company's property. Search him for me. A group of security guard immediately gathered around Fate. Fate's gaze darkened, clenching HIS fist. Fade is ready to fight. At this moment, the security guard took out a small plastic bag from HIS pocket without any realizing it, then raised it and shouted, Secretary Ken, I found it. Donald looked the plastic bag and flipped it open, only to find it filled with red pills inside. Donald looked at Xenia and asked, You should know what is it, am I right? Xenia was also surprised when she saw the pills. These, these are the pills which have just been imported. They are used to overcome fatigue. What's the price of these pills? Donald continued HIS question. Xenia answered, It is, is about 100 yuans for a piece of it. 100 yuans per piece. There are at least 1 o pieces in this plastic bag, which is 10,000 yuans. Donald looked at Fade with HIS eyes squinted. Donald then continued, 10,000 is not a small amount. The evidence is here. You are suspected of stealing the company's property. What else do you have to say? The corner of Donald's lips curved with a complacent evil smile. Fade facial expression darkened and depended himself. I didn't steal the pills. As for what really happened, I think you know for yourself. The evidence is certain now and you are still trying to deny it. Donald sneered and immediately ordered the security guards. Call the police and arrest him. Xenia panicked when she heard that and thus, she quickly said, Secretary Kin, there must be something wrong, Fade won't steal, he. You don't have to speak for him, for some bastard lack of family education, arresting him was already a light punishment, Donald sneered and said. However, when Fade heard this, HIS face darkened, Fade shot a glare at Donald and shouted angrily, What did you say? Thanks for watching and reading. The other chapter of this novel is at the description. Next chapter will be uploaded Tom.
Please like and subscribe for more incoming novel videos. Thank you.